Hey guys, and warm welcome back to the channel, finally. Um, I am super sorry about being gone for so long. It's been several weeks now. Um, I just, I got into a lot of other stuff and we had some important life events going on, which I'll get into in a little bit. And I just, I had a lot on my plate. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do moving forward with YouTube because I got to this point where I thought I was just kind of making the same video over and over. Um, I think that's just like a personal thing because I've talked to a few people since then and I've kind of gone back and looked at some of my videos. And I guess maybe it didn't come across that way to everyone else. It just, me editing, it kind of started to feel a little bit redundant, but I am really happy with uh, what I've got planned uh, for the next several months and I'm excited for my new schedule and just I had to take some time and kind of regroup I think but I just wanted to reintroduce you guys and um, show off my my new area because it's the same area but it's completely different you guys might remember I had my old uh, like pull down top desk um, it is now my crystal collection center in the bedroom which I will do a tour on later because it turned out really cute um, but I had to buy a new desk I was having some repetitive um I think like what is it called R R something repetitive stress injuries um I think my desk was messing with my shoulder maybe it was the editing I'm not sure I also bought a new mouse which is like this fancy like it leans and you can make it lean other ways. And anyway, I just needed a few new tools because I was kind of not taking care of myself as far as like the repetitive motions that I was using. And I started feeling some carpal tunnel pretty bad. And I still have a little bit of a shoulder issue, but it's getting better. And I think just taking some time off and fixing a few things is really gonna help. Um, so I put this new, table shelf behind me. We'll do a full tour um, in a couple of weeks when I have that on the schedule, but I just wanted to show that, you know, all of my cute stuff is finally out. We're going to get into making a few things uh, for the desk because I have some like little trinkets and stuff I want to share with you guys that I'm going to leave out on display and it, it needs a cute little thing to live in. Um, but just a few things. I have a list I want to make sure that I update you guys on. Uh, we sold our house. Uh, if you know me personally, then obviously you know that I own a house in Tennessee uh, before my husband joined the Air Force. And it was really cute. And we only got to live there for, I think it was just over a year before he decided to join. So I didn't get to see it become what I really was hoping for it to be. You know, it had an acre of land and... We absolutely loved it, but when we moved, we rented it out, and now uh, we went through the process of selling it. That was something that was really going on. Um, you just mentally, it was a lot to make sure all of our ducks were in a row, and doing it from another country, and the time difference was a whole thing. Um, thankfully, my husband did take um, care of most of that, but. You know he still went to work and I still had to answer questions and things like that but we're really happy to have that over with I just had a really good time being off and not having to put on a camera and um, yeah so other than that we bought a bread maker and that's relevant because I'm gonna get it out on the channel at some point and I've already made a loaf out of it and it's fantastic so yeah I think the biggest thing that I want to talk about is I started teaching classes and I will roll some footage while we're chit-chatting about that. And I just never imagined myself actually teaching watercolor. I have a little bit of an imposter syndrome where I'm not so sure I'm even really, you know, like good enough to be an artist. But at the same time, like I obviously I know that I am, but in the back of my brain, I'm like, what are you doing? And then teaching was a whole other thing. I didn't realize it was going to be so fulfilling and so fun because I could never really get over that anxiety portion of standing up in front of people and you know I always kind of gave public speaking classes a lot of hate one because I just don't like them but also 
I never really thought I'd apply that to my life. So I'm really thankful that I did take one speech class in college because I'll be honest, I look back on that a little bit. Um, but mostly I was trying to recall my art teachers because they made a huge difference in my life. And even though these are beginner, beginner classes and like a mommy and me class, I, I see so much potential in people's artwork when they have never, or they say they've never done watercolor before. So I always leave feeling really empowered and, you know, just enthusiastic about painting and how I feel about painting because it feels like people are learning from me and that just makes me feel like I know what I'm doing and that's a really good feeling. Um, so I do those twice. I do each class twice a month, so four classes. I'm charging $35 and I obviously only get a percentage of that from, well really it's arts and crafts here on base, they get a percentage of that. So it's like a paint and sip without the sip portion, but the class is around two hours long and instead of just doing watercolor, I'm having them ink them at the end also because if you've been following the channel, you know my aesthetic or my style is like that illustrator style. Uh, so I've really enjoyed having people paint my subject matter the way that I do. And I think they're really enjoying it too because, you know, it's nothing crazy, not like 20 people per class or anything, but I, I can't meet everybody's time. You know, we have one car while we're here and I have to kind of coordinate that with my husband and certain times work when I know I'd probably get more traffic if I had other times listed. But I'm really happy with how things are and... I have a one-year contract with them, which will be up again in April, maybe. So I'm going to be doing that for a while, and I'm trying not to let that... Because you have to plan like three months in advance for marketing to be able to... Um, for marketing to be able to market things for me. Uh, so that's really nice to be able to kind of take a step back and just create the artworks, but um, I bought all of the stuff and they just show up and they paint and they take it home in a little sleeve at the end of the day and it's great. I'm really enjoying it. I am considering maybe next year I just do it straight from home since I like the amount, like the size of the groups that I'm getting. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the update. I don't want to make this too long. I just kind of want to get you guys back into you know, caught up and in the swing of things. But uh, next week, which I already have it planned out, so we're gonna look at it again really quick. Wanna make sure that I'm right because I planned quite a bit of stuff. So uh, this weekend I have an event for Juneteenth. It's gonna be on Tory Station. Next weekend I am doing like a hotel convention at the Ansa Okinawa Resort. And then on the 30th of this month, we are doing our Freedom Fest, which is our 4th of July celebration before that 4th of July weekend shows up. Um, and now, since I'm doing this video today and the update for like the studio content isn't going to be for a little while, I am going to uh, finish a few things that I want for them to be in that video. So we're gonna start off with building a little shelf for the trinkets, like I mentioned. And I have some new stuff to show you, like some uh, stickers. And I've got a little bit more about what our, our upcoming stuff is going to be like. Um, I have a new schedule. So it's going to include junk journaling and just some like really fun, loose art projects and things that I want to do. I also bought a color theory book that I would like to work on on the channel because I've never really had a specific watercolor theory class. I've only ever done like your traditional color theory. Um, I think we touched on it in like 2D design a little bit in my drawing fundamentals class and some other, you know, bits and pieces here and there. And then I'm also going to start taking some other classes. They're going to be some free versions of like marketing and small business stuff. So we'll have some planner slash study sessions and stuff like that. So um, I know this was just a talking head. I'm really good at those, I guess. 
but it's not going to be all like that coming up and we're only going to do one studio update a month so that I actually have a bunch of stuff to show you guys and so that I feel like I'm not trying to do a studio update every week because that's just I can't continue to do that every week. I'm not busy enough uh, through some of the months. So I wanted to start peppering in things that I love doing. But thank you guys for sticking around and I can't wait for next week's video. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you then. Bye guys.